Hey guys, how's it going? This is Boxman coming at you from my Town 9 account in the Dark Obsidian 1 clan. And today I'm bringing you a war recap. And as you can see, we only have three stars left on the board. We have nobody left that can get those stars because all we have left are Town 9 and below. And these are Town 10 and 11. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you the war recap with three hours left in war because I don't think there's any chance of the enemy coming back at this point. Uh, we did very well few bad attacks but overall it was a very very nice war um, we're gonna start at bottom uh, bottom number 20 town hall 7 versus town hall 7 and I just wanted to bring this out here we'll go ahead and times for it but just bring this out here for any of our town hall 7 fans out there that are also wanting to know how to attack in war um, most town hall 7 attacks are dragons it's all about creating that funnel to make them survive and getting those air defenses taken out. It's not too complicated, but it can be, depending on the base design. As you can see, this was probably not the best base design to go with, and I don't recommend it. But yeah, next one's going to be uh, Town 08, and this is actually my Town 08. It's a mini mag, so I have a Love It Up King, it's the first thing I upgraded, but I have all Town 07 troops still. So I come over here with the lower. We'll go ahead and times to it. Um, actually, we'll do times four. I come over here. I kill the dragon. I just brought 30 archers from my kill squad. And then I'm, my goal is to send the king over to try to engage his king. But it actually ends up engaging my hogs instead. But my hogs are just fine. They can outrun that king. It's only level one, so it doesn't do too much damage to my level two hogs. And a heal spell keeps them up. And that is a wrap. So they're going to go through, they run into a giant bomb, but it's not going to be enough to take my hogs out. I'm guessing it was probably level 1, maybe level 2, maybe, not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, that's all there is for that one. Next one I want to bring you is going to be number 18. It's another Town Hall 8, another one that's not maxed out and does a very good job of 3 starring anyway. Now granted, this is a mini max base, so it has some defenses leveled up and not all defenses are leveled up. And... She's going to 3 star this base with dragons because her the air defenses are not level 6. I believe these are level 4 or level 5. Really need the level 6 air defenses to stop level 3 dragons. I'll go ahead and speed it up to times 2. And basically she just attacks into 2 air defenses. Tries to get that sweeper as well. And then she's going to use her CC loons to take out that last air defense. And then there's nothing left that can take out those balloons and those dragons. So this is going to be a 3 star and we'll go ahead and times 4 from here because there's not a lot left to it. Still has a uh, king ability, she uses king to clean up the base and all that's left after this is pretty much just to build her huts but there's plenty of time, build her huts are not going to be an issue and that's a 3 star. Next one I want to bring you guys is going to be number 10 and this is uh, Town 09 and I thought he did a very good job on it. He's one of our more upgraded Title Nines, so I definitely appreciate his heroes when it comes to war. And he is going to use a Go Vaho attack. So he's going to start with his Quakes. He's going to open up this base so the Vaos can get through everything. And just really look at how much of this base he opens up with those four Quakes. Now he's going to come over and start with his Kill Squad. So it's going to be a Golem. And then he's going to use his wizard to create the funnel for the Valks and the heroes. And we'll speed that up just a little bit because it's just wizards taking out trash. Use his wall breakers to break in. And then he starts sending his heroes and his Valks in. There's CC troops. He does not have a heal spell. Oh, I'm sorry. He does not have poison spells. But with that queen being there, they're not going to be an issue. Get through the base just fine. Rage for the Valks to get them through that middle quicker. So we can go ahead and get started on the hogs here up top. And he does have two heal spells. Honestly, I'd probably recommend dropping the rage entirely and just bringing three heal spells for the hogs. But he does just fine. He had to do uh, the first one early because of that bomb. I'm sure he wanted to save the first heal spell for right around this area with the expo. But there's no giant bomb spots on the inside of this base, so those hogs are going to be just fine. He the Valks kill the king to keep, uh, which is going to help the hogs. And then they're going to come out and clean up a lot of this trash while the hogs go through and clean up all the defenses. So we'll go ahead and time stew it here. There's not a lot left of this base. Goes ahead and lays that last uh, hill spell next to the wizard tower. 
Um, if you look, you'll see he had two bombs on the outside there, another one outside here, and then another one right there. Probably not a good idea to have all your bombs on the outside of the base because there's a good chance those troops are never even going to set them off. And if they do, it's not going to be any that can actually affect the raid. So that is going to be a three star. Next one's going to be number nine. And I thought he did a very good job on it as well. And this one's going to be just a, a go-ho raid. Except instead of using golems, he uses giants. And um, not entirely... Oh, he had bowlers in his CC, so it's kind of like a high V a little bit. Um, so he's going to come in here, create the funnel so his heroes and the bowlers go inside the base. He actually does not use any jump spells or any wall breakers, but with those bowlers, they're going to get through that base with no problem. Has a poison spell, two poison spells for the CC troops. And this is going to be kind of like a max attack. You're going to have most of your uh, troops in the core as the kill squad. And then you're going to sprinkle in those hogs on the side somewhere while the defenses are distracted. And uh, he did not bring very many hogs, so that's why they didn't spread out very far. And then he kind of misses the heal spell he here. Um, I don't know why. He it's probably a misclick. He probably tapped it a little bit early. Then he encounters a double giant bomb before the hogs get there, which probably saved this raid. Not sure it would have made a difference, though, with how many troops he still had alive. Because he smashes his base with so many troops at the end. So many troops. He just does a very good job. So the hogs are going to come in. I'm going to go ahead and time stew it here. They're going to take out the last defenses along with that one bowler and the giant. And he still has his queen ability. And this is going to be a three star. Really, uh, really good attacker. Only 12-12 heroes. And he does a very good job on a regular basis. So, good job, Flappy. Alright, last one I'm going to bring you guys is going to be number 2, and it's uh, actually a Town Hall 11 dipping down to do a 3 star on Town 10, but he just does such a good job, and yeah, not all these defenses are maxed out, but you know what, it's got an eagle, it's got high level Inferno Towers, it's got uh, heroes, it's got, it still has uh, level 3 Expos, which are pretty leveled up, uh, he's going to come in with the Queen Walk, he's got Wall Breakers to get her through, he uses Quakes in the core to open it up for the Valks, and then the whole goal here with the Queen Walk is to cut off one side of the base so the Valks ignore it. And then he's going to come over here with the Golem, some Wizards, to break off the other side of the funnel. And that way the Valks are just going to go straight to the core after they take out all these trash buildings in that expo. He uh, goes ahead and wall breaks it. He's very patient here. He's waiting for that cannon to go down so that when he brings his Valks in, they go to the core and not to the side. Those Vox are going to get in the core, he's going to pop that uh, Warden ability, and they're going to get through those Infernos with no problem whatsoever. And once they get through this core, there's really not a lot left to stop him when there's that many left alive. Plus he has his uh, Queen ability, he still has a Rage spell in the bag, and there's just not going to be a lot to stop it. We'll go ahead and times to it here, and he is just going to demolish the rest of this base. Thought he could have used miners and bowlers and could have easily three started this base, but the fact that he did it with Valks, I thought he did a very good job. And that is going to be a three star, and that is going to be the end of my war recap. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and hit us up on Twitter and Instagram at the Dark Obsidian. Uh, check out our website, thedarkobsidian.com. And until next time, see you.